Hi, this is Alan from Max Foundry, here to demonstrate the features of Media Library Photos Pro. In our first video, we demonstrated how to use the features of the free plugin Media Library Photos. Now we're looking at the Pro version. And one of the great things about the Pro version is having the folder tree when inserting images into posts and pages. So let's look at the Media Library here in a post. We'll wait for the folder tree to load. There it is. And now we'll go down to our zoo folder. We can select an image and insert it into our post. Going back to the Media Library Folders page, one of the features in the Pro version is Categories. Now you can classify your images according to category. This, our Pro plugin is compatible with the Enhanced Media Library plugin, which uh, allows you to do the same. So we can view our zoo folder. We can select all the images and then categorize them by clicking the category and the set categories button. We can also add a new category from here. We can find out what categories an image has by using the get categories or we can view by category. So we can click here and click trees and we can view all the images that are tree categories from here. All right, that's the categories feature. Now then, let's see, we have this ability where we integrate with the next gen gallery. So with this, we can now add a new uh, gallery right here from the library folders such as trees and then click to create that gallery and the gallery was created it's going to refresh the page so we can go to our trees folder we can select all the images then open the gallery area and select this gallery and add the images. And it added seven images. So then if we go to next to the next gen page and refresh it, we'll see our gallery has been created and it contains seven images. Now then another issue that some user has is they have a a lot of images in a single folder and it's sometimes difficult to load the folder and to view the images. So when you have a folder with more than 40 images in it, Media Library Folders Pro is going to prompt you and say if you would like to view the images or you want to display the images with the file name without the file without the images just the file name. So we can choose that option and it will display the file names and we can work with them in that manner or if we would like, we can turn on pagination. So you can turn on pagination in settings and set the number of items displayed per page, which is currently 40. Now if we go back and refresh the page, let's see, I forgot to save the settings. All right, now we'll refresh, let's just refresh the whole page. and view the collection folder. And now we have our images, then we can go to the next page, or we can go to the previous page. And there they are. Another feature we have added is thumbnail management. So often your theme and your plugins are going to add new thumbnail sizes to your configuration of your site, and you may not want all these thumbnails. So you have the ability to turn those off, except for the default thumbnail sizes of thumbnail, medium, and large. So you can determine what sizes you want to ha have generated on your site, and then save that in the thumbnail settings.
now when you upload a new image only these sizes and the default sizes will be generated if you wish for media library folders to go through your media library and remove these unnecessary sizes you can click here and it will scan and remove those sizes and if you ever change your theme and your plugins and you want to refresh the list of sizes then you click reset defaults then there's another feature we have which is that uh, you can set folder access by user row user row such as administrator author editor you can turn that feature on by coming into settings and enable folder access by user row it's going to refresh the page and it's going to add a new menu option um, set user access so on this page you will have a folder tree and a list of user roles that have uh, upload uh, built the ability to upload files you can select uh, one of them currently everybody would, when there's nothing checked then the row has access to all the folders but you can decide I want to only give the let's say author row those users way access to certain folders and so you can check those folders and save access so now those users can only go to these folders and add files or remove files uh, it does not prevent users from the in, on the internet from accessing the files from those folders or downloading those files it's not that type of protection it's only protection from login users from modifying the contents of the, the checked folders so that's user access management and lastly we have a short code that allows you to display the contents of the folder so you use this short code as it's mentioned in the readme file and you get the folder ID to tell it which folder to display and how do you get the folder ID if we go to the media library folders and look at the status bar when we hold the mouse cursor over a folder you'll see that down here the, the URL of the folder is displayed and it has the number 4041 that's the folder ID it's also up here in the no it's not there let's see so if we go over here to the and put in that folder ID and then view the page then you'll have the contents of that those folders those images or other type of files will be displayed here on a page. So that completes this video of the Library Folders Pro, a highly rated plugin that helps you organize the files in your media library. Thanks for watching.